Presbyopia is a condition that occurs with age and it's related to the loss of the crystalline lens, which is the second lens that we have in the eye, to accommodate, that means to reshape. The reason why it fails to reshape is because it becomes stiffer with age. The crystalline lens no longer has the ability to see near and far, so we need some additional aid to actually be able to look at other distances. Inside Science. The long-term goal for correcting presbyopia would be to replace the crystalline lens by a lens that can actually restore this uh, function of accommodation. This is actually something that we're working on in, in our lab, in generating these lenses that can reshape. We have these optic systems that have a dual adaptive optics elements to actually produce or simulate the smooth profiles of these intraocular lenses. One very interesting correction that we can look at are multifocal corrections. These uh, corrections come in, in the form of contact lenses or also in the form of intraocular lenses. They're given to people that have lost accommodation capability. Multifocal corrections are based on what is called the simultaneous vision principle. What they do is to project to images that are focused and unfocused at the same time. So it's a superposition of a blur and a sharp image. Before these lenses are uh, implanted or even before they are manufactured, we can actually look at the experience of wearing these corrections. This is a, an optomechanical lens that moves very rapidly, providing different foci uh, at a very large speed so that we recreate these multifocal profiles of these lenses. Our current version of it is actually a wearable device that is uh, binocular so that we can simulate what happens in in, in both eyes, so that the patient can experience the multifocality. So it's actually very interesting, particularly for someone that is going to have a permanent intraocular lens implanted, to actually experience how the image, how the world is going to be with such a correction. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.